We've had to move everything out of the factory to the kitchen. Toro is finally home. The Zephyrion is still his house, so I guess there's nothing to be done about it. His books have been destroyed by the darkness. After a number of doctors, uh, he has given up, he tells me. Sympathy is not what he's after. His pathology is far more sinister. Somehow I'm afraid if I don't help him, I'll soon be homeless or I'll have to pay rent for a house I would like. Not that this is much of a house. He says it has to be soon, next week, quick and painless. A contact from my old days at the lab tells me where I might be able to find something, but cannot promise me it will be painless or quick. But it will do the job that he's sure of. I wonder if Toro would mind the pain, if I wouldn't mind seeing him suffer, even if just for a moment. And does he want me to watch him suffer so that he can be absorbed? Is this all a trick? In the end, I decide that Hester's is the best option. Ruma says she deals. I leave Rahel and Toro in the house and take a match to Biafra. He was downstairs as I left, his purple robe open, sipping coffee from my cup, mistaking mine for his. He looked anxious today. His body is so frail, so not there, only a repository for eyes and fingers. I fear he might not even have the capacity for pain. There's no point in me staying in the house. I'll only want to break more things. So I walk into the rain, let her help him with it. Not that they talk much, except for when she takes him, his meals and tea. But I worry about what she lets on uh, in her limited soil. Her childhood French is all but forgotten. In Toro's Lingala, in Toro's Lingala leaning as far away from French as it can. Not that Toro needs language to impress to travel. It's one of those things that comes so easily to him. Even in his current state, this ability to disarm, this charm, to make everyone around him feel at ease, to make his own face so safe and homely so that conversation is not really necessary, bringing to life other energies you didn't yet know you possessed, but cannot make use, but cannot make use of so that even when you are surprised at how wonderful the world Even uh, as you're surprised at how wonderful it is, how unfortunate you are um, for just finding out uh, you, yet you're still eternally, eternally grateful that you have made this discovery. I, I write long sentences and I, I, I get lost in there, sorry. Everyone around me, uh, excluding myself, having put up guards after picking up on this from my early teens, false for spells. So, Rahel will be fine then. The 9.45 a.m. train pulls up as soon as I'm in Magadara. I'm in a warm tree jacket and loafer, the city cold and wet and unfamiliar. Nothing of the old city remains. Down Kick Road, Standard Street, City Hall, Big Avenue, now houses, migrants, and quarters. Those forever caught between travel documents and the full soap of finding any home. Mothers who have no citizenship and children uh, who exchange their visa for meals. I count my steps, something I do to calm my 
myself down post past, past few thousand in women self putting in crabs that are more beach root than mango, popo, banana, and nasi. What does it do to work best? I've forgotten to ask my contact from the lab. At Shaw Street I call in, but the call goes unanswered. From the grills outside the Indian shops, selling beef, samosa, sausages, or steaks, kukusama, and chibomutu, I smell bad plastic running. A family of seven sit outside the stall, wrapped with shoes and blankets so that they appear to be performing from under a tent, doing a couple of freshly mongoli stella. This tent, like a house made of cymbals and broken drums and untuned guitars, and a saxophone that sounds like it has collected a liquid world of flame in its tubes. All these stitched together with a kind of hope these parts of the city no longer offers. Down Kalilu Tunga, I count the steps. Walking makes things easier. Walking is what I do. Kirima Road, girls shout from outside. From inside the upper floors of the buildings. Domomia, Kuma Biambili. I put belly man in nothing but a blue house coat hangs upside down from the fifth floor of major building, red parties around his head. What happens to those who do not pay? Down central division and the fear dies of Black River, I keep counting the steps, deciding 80 milligrams to the work. A TNA house, already the smell of bodies in motion, shisha, cigarette smoke less with something that makes it linger longer in the air. It has done a bloated pig flows down Black River. In the corner of a similar bulomba, Namukere takes a rocky in the corner of Akram Shomba. I think I'll be jealous of it.